hundred acres of it. The outcome of a seven-day round-the-clock plowing marathon undertaken by Ford Tractor Operations. How was it done? The site was in Wiltshire, about nine miles south of Marlborough, on a 6,000-acre farm belonging to Hosier Farms Limited. When the Ford team arrived, the burning of straw had begun, with combining well underway. We did know in advance that our Ford 5000 tractor would have to negotiate some pretty sharp gradients and flintstone patches. Accordingly, we enlisted the expert advice of a leading tire manufacturer and help from the local Ford tractor dealer. They gave us service facilities at every stage of the record-breaking run. Zero hour ticks over, and the 5,000 moves off. The week-long trial of machine and man has begun. 403 acres ahead of them, and a seven day and night slog for the six-man driving team. Early on, the soil texture is mostly good. The fields were to vary in size from a small one of 16 acres to a maximum size of 184 acres. All possessed an undulating surface, offering full scope for proving the 5,000 Selecto speed gearbox. The transmission that is already becoming something of a modern classical number in the Ford range of tractor equipment. Time for a first change of drivers. The three teams worked eight-hour shifts, stopping approximately once every six hours for a brief service check or refuel. The drivers together would have notched up 900 miles over the seven days and nights of this grueling operation mounted by Ford. seven days to build up a complete picture of the 5,000's capabilities. For we wanted real proof that a Ford Selecto Speed 5000, pulling an FRTS 78, could actually send up a farmer's work output by nearly 50%, and turn over a classically shaped quality furrow into the bargain. Just one item of evidence obtained, the Selecto Speed gearbox made over 4,500 on-the-move changes during the run. Darkness over the Wilshire landscape. But for the Ford driver, this is no time for poetic reverie. On he plows, a pacemaker by day and night. The Ford technical team find progress encouraging from many points of view. For they can see that the 5000 is beginning to make its mark, and quickly. Just how fast is it over, say, an hour's plowing time? acres of ploughed land is appearing every hour. Not bad, we think. The experiment is now well underway. The tractor is eating fast into the 403 acres of ploughing finally recorded by our observers. to get through. And ahead of the tractor and plough, the work of straw burning continues. To prevent unnecessary hold-ups, all operations like this were sustained right through the working week.
another ship for one man. But not always a chance to rest. Often the relief drivers pressed on, checking the standby plough in case it should be needed, or clearing clumps of unburned straw which might hinder the progress of the unstoppable Ford 5000. supply of fuel from the mobile Bowser. In all, our tractor consumed 415 and a half gallons. But then this was a long haul by any standards. The near empty Bowser pulls clear and the 5000 pursues its task into another day's work. Towards the end, it was by no means easy going. The 180-acre field had a circumference of two and a half miles with steep terrain ranging from light to heavy clay, part flint and part chalk. A final halt for fuel, some consultation, and the last lap commences. The 5,000 has now been handed over to the last man the driver knocking off can take a well-earned rest, stand back and watch with satisfaction as his mate comes into the home stretch. And that's it, we've made it with a Ford tractor in the great tradition certainly. Heavier, stronger, tougher but possessing modern characteristics developed specifically for the job of plowing over the rough and the smooth for days on end. Facts which were by no means lost in our visitors who came to watch the trial of strength and then talk to us about it. Just for the record, a quick rundown of the principal data which emerged from this Ford Marathon. So there it is. Proof enough, if needed, that the Ford 5000 with Selecto's speed transmission is right on top of the job.